this video is to show a very common problem of the Pioneer uh, 77 reel to reel deck and it will also show you uh, what's most likely the cause of that the problem is that um, uh, when you fast forward or um, rewind um, when it's uh, at the end uh, the reel keeps rewinding uh, just it's just like a little bit too slow to uh, automatically shut up and uh, let me show you what I mean so if we put this four let's see um, let's see uh, let's fast forward a little okay now let's see if I re rewind, rewind you will see see when it's at the end um, this keeps spinning uh, without stop uh, immediately uh, the reason is because uh, out shut down lever here moves a little bit slow due to the old gunk so what we have to do is essentially we have to open it up and then number key uh, that lever and uh, the mechanism over there so that's what I'm gonna show you uh, next so uh, see uh, you have to uh, just open the, the back cover you don't have to open the main cover you just need to uh, lose the, the six screws here so, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six screw, and uh, then you will be able to open the back cover. Alright, okay. Once the uh, bottom cover is open, you can see here this is the uh, automatic uh, shutdown uh, mechanism. Um, it is uh, essentially uh, it is fixed to the uh, the frame by uh, the single screw here, and it has this uh, small spring uh, attached. I mean, press attached to it, and then that's a lever here, and then you have small uh, cable uh, connect to it. Uh, to uh, lose it because uh, one you need to number kit is this. Uh, it is this. It is this part. Actually, I think I can show you. Let's see. Uh, so if we have this. This. You can see. This thing moves just too slow. You can see that the speed of move upwards is just a it's just too slow. That's because there are some gunk here, so you have to just take this out and uh, to apply some oil to it. However, if you just directly do this way you won't be able to I don't think you already it's very easy to just lose this screw just with this on it so uh, I believe you do have to uh, lose this uh, screw and take this out to do it and to do that and um, so uh, let's just carefully lose this screw just be careful um, uh, make sure it does not uh, uh, falling down and also be careful there is a small washer so it's out okay so I'm gonna pull the screw away and carefully pull it back and so the next there's a this spring is just a Locked over here, and this I believe you can just yeah. So 
this has been out and then you can just pull this out so for your better handle is just because oh, just before that screen and this don't break it <laughs> so now you have this out so what you need to do is lose this screw and pull this out and apply some oil to it. Now let's do it. You see the you see you can see it's a movement of movement of that is just very slow. It's not very slow, it's just slow. So uh we need to uh, Lose this school and then we can uh, apply some oil on it. Don't lose that. This can be pulled out to uh, to clean. We can pull this out. So be careful the spoon here. It's out. Okay. Let's do let's do some clean here. Inside, so I guess okay. So let's clean all of this. Okay, make sure there's no old gunk. Just apply some uh, a little bit of oil. Let's just do it. Okay. So then we can pull this, pull this back. See, it's supposed to move fast like this. See how fast this moves? So that's how this should look, should work. And then, yeah, put this back. Let's go here. So, so once you have this um, lubricated, and you uh, if you want to adjust how fast this uh, this uh, uh, auto shutdown, you can also adjust the uh, the, uh, the location of this. Uh, switch by uh, losing these two screws and you can uh, adjust as a uh, uh, the, uh, the, the position of this shutdown which gives you uh, uh, the speed of the out shutdown so now we need to put this back just again you will need to be careful See how fast that is again. So, okay. So you need to insert this back into this hole. Okay. Just and it's right here. Okay. And 
is this? Has to be uh, through this. This ring has to be through this hole. this screw back Okay, now you have it. Alright, now let's see how this works. So now I have everything set up. Now you can see how fast this uh, auto shutdown work. Uh, let's see. Uh, so suppose there is uh, you already have a uh, tape here. So that means you apply pressure here. So make sure it's. So let's see if you have tape here it's moving. See, it's fast like that. So. Right now, we can do is uh, do we could just uh, put this back curve on and see uh, how this works in the real test now. Now I have everything hooked up just like before, and let's see uh, how this changes the uh, the thing. Um, again, let's, um, let's do this. So you have to right now remember that out uh, shutdown never move very fast. So you have to make sure this um, it's very tight. Otherwise, it will shut down immediately. So let's say play. So. Play, play works fine. It's another way to play. Let's say when it goes to the end. See? Um, the out shutdown works properly and it's shut down, shut down very fast. Uh, it's probably much more uh, permanent when you do the fast forward or re rewinding. Let's do that, we can try that. Let's do the fast forward a little bit. Then let's rewind. See? It shut up almost immediately. Not like the previous, it's, this keeps spinning, which result is a tape has been uh, kind of damaged if you keep doing that. Alright, just hope you uh, enjoy uh, this video. And one last, uh, I'm gonna show you the difference uh, between and uh, after.